This is a tutorial for how to crochet for beginners and here are some things that I've crocheted as a beginner as well. This stuff and hearts. First you want to get any wool and a hook and just get any size of hook that's good for the wool. Like don't get a really tiny hook for like a really fluffy wool. So first you want to make a slip knot but I just do it like this so you get get it like this put it around so make it that type of thing then wrap this over once so it looks like that and then get this one and put it over so that's how you start finger knitting but you can use it as a loop knot as a slip knot as well so then you just put it on here and tighten it not too tight though unwrap a bit so this is how you hold your hook this is how I hold it some people do it like that like this like that but I just do it like this so hold like that the thumb on here and just like that so you just want to go like this around here wrap it around your wrap it around this and then um, you can use you can make it a bit tighter there it's like that and you can use your middle finger and your thumb to hold like your crocheting. So, first you want to, this is just how to make a, do the basics of crocheting. So you get the hook and this is, you're going to do a chain. So wrap it around like there and pull it through this. That's one chain and make another one. Wrap it around, pull, and then pull through. Just do 11 of those, or how many you want to do, so you can keep practicing. Around, pull through. Around, pull through. Around, pull through. Around. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'm just going to do twelve. So that's what it should look like. Um, this is a chain of twelve. So the next step is single crochets. So you want to skip that first one and go to the next one and put the hook put the hook through that hole. Just do one thing. So put it through and it should look like that. You should have two on here. So then you get your hook and just like how we did in the chains just pull through one, so it should look like that. Pull through the first one, and then pull through the pull through two. So that's that's one crochet, one single crochet, and you want to do it for all the other ones until you reach the end. And make sure it's not always too tight here because it'll, it'll be hard to like pull through the thing so you can just loosen it up as you go and also these chains so put it through the next one that's that's two pull do the first one and pull through both so that's two single crochets so you just want to do it for the rest of them and make sure you don't skip any so it looks nice. Just loosen that up a bit. You can keep practicing putting the hook through these because it can it can be difficult as sometimes. So then you wanna pull it again and then pull through two. Through through the hole 
So put your things through, pull through, pull through two. I'll just show it one more time so you're confident in doing the rest of them. Pull it through the hole, wrap it around once, and then pull through both. So now you just want to do the rest of them until you get to the end. Once you finish those single crochets, this is what it should look like. The next thing that we're going to do is um, keep on building it. So after you finish this, chain one like that and then turn your thing around. Like that. And now for us to keep going, we're going to go under and we're going we're gonna to bring two, two strings. So when we went under in the first one, we went and got one string. This time we're going to get two. So, go under, that's two. Pull through one, and then pull through two. So that's what the first one should look like. And the next one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Pull through two. And then, pull, do both. And just keep going with that. It may seem a bit hard to like find it, but you'll get used to it if you keep keep practicing crocheting, keep learning this these basics, and one day you'll be a pro. So just keep going like that. Under. So you get the two right there. Crochet both that. You have two now, and now I just go through both of those. So now I just want to go keep doing that until you reach the end. Okay, so just do that. And keep on doing that. that. Go through two, two, crochet one, pull through both. So that's what it should look like so far. Now just keep doing that underneath two, crochet one, and pull through two. It may seem tricky at first, but keep going and it will become easier every single time. Pull through that. Next one. Pull through two. Last one. Second last one. Two. And that is your next row done. So, then again. Make it loose here, chain one, and then get this, flip it over, and then keep on doing the same thing, keep on going through two, pull through one, pull through both, doing that, keep on doing that, then chain one, turn it, do that, and then keep going until you get the end, and that's, in the end it will look something like this, a square of, this is what I've previously done. And I'll show you later on how to tie it up.
So, once you finish doing the end, however long you want it to do, um, just pull a bit off here, take your hook off, and get some scissors. Cut off a bit. And then, some people will like to sew it through, but all I do is just put it through this hole and just tighten that, tie it up one more time. Tie it all the way to the end. Now you can just cut that off. And cut that off. Unless you want to keep this to hang it. And that's how you do the basic crocheting stitches and stuff. And if you want another tutorial on how to make a heart, then uh, comment and like and subscribe.